Okay, my name's John Rostow. Um, I'm from Oldham. The car, it's a 1.8 20 valve turbo, uh, 1983. It was originally black. Um, it was in decent condition to be fair when I got it. Got it from Scotland, got the engine from London. And that's when it all started. Basically, a friend of mine, we wanted to do a project. When he said he wanted to do a Mark 1, I just said, have you got a deep pocket? And he just laughed at me. Anyway, six months later, into the build, ended up owning the car. After he bought it, bought the engine, spent some money. He had to move house, unfortunately, because his daughter was going to another school down the road. And he couldn't afford it anymore because he needed a deep pocket. So this is where it all started. I bought the car off him uh, quite cheaply, to be fair, because I was doing all the work anyway to start with. So from him buying the car to me owning it, I was already doing all the work on it. So I started doing the engine bay, smoothing, getting rid of the scuttle panel, getting rid of old brackets that wasn't needed. I'm generally just trying to tidy the area up to put the engine in, see what it looked like. We didn't really know what it was going to do to start with until obviously we got the engine in there. So anyway, bought the engine, put the engine in, I made the bespoke engine mounts. There wasn't actually engine mounts back then, 10 years ago, actually available for the car. So I made the engine mounts, put it in, it looked reasonable, fiddled about with them, cut them, welded, messed around, which took a lot of time. So that's when basically he just said, it's not going quick enough, the project, can't really afford it anymore. Do you want to buy it? So that was that. You know, it's such a big, big thing to take on. I didn't even realise myself, to be fair, how big it was. And after the years rolled on, my wife kept turning around and saying, you're not going in the garage doing a bit more, you're not going doing a bit more. Anyway, cut long story short, it was hard work. Three o'clock, you know, three o'clock in the morning, falling asleep in the engine bay. It was hard. The biggest achievement was actually finishing it because I never ever thought it was going to be finished. I actually got to a point a few times where I turned around to my wife and said, I'm going to sell it. Why are you selling it? I'm just never going to finish it. And then it just seemed to gradually come on really quickly. Um, but yeah, the achievement was actually finishing the car and getting it out and finishing it. Any sad stories? Um, only really thinking about selling it after all has been put into it. Funny stories, uh, the door gate that part of the wiring loom when it was uh, firstly being built, we'd left the wiring loom in the car ready to be put in to see if it was right length because we were changing it because the connectors was all shocking and terrible and had to be all done. So I put the new wiring loom back in the car and we came back to it the day after and the dog decided to chew through it all. So I ended up having to solder it all and re-piece it all back together. That was a quite a highlight. The dog's still living, by the way. Oh dear. Uh, the car was probably three quarters finished, had all the glass for it, paint was just about done, and I had about a week to go before the prom. And I asked my dad to come and give me a hand to finish the car off. And we were struggling with the brakes quite a lot. They wouldn't bleed. It's a simple system. It's basically a Mark IV Golf system with Tarox brakes made for a Mark IV Golf. And we were just struggling so much to bleed them. It was being really awkward. It was probably because the, um, the servo, mass cylinder and servo, was, hadn't been used for years and probably dry inside. I don't know, it's just one of those things and we struggled for days trying to get it to bleed and they were struggled with that and then they were trying to get their glass in without scratching the car and we ended up missing the prom date taking us prom in it by about three days unfortunately so it was a bit of a sad ending um, to the story I suppose but she's forgiven me now. <laughs>